Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to, well, NASCAR 06 Career Mode. It is time to size our, sign our uh, contracts. Get ready for the season. I have no idea what we're going to be doing. Um, we have an elite driver that retired, which is Sterling Marlin. Uh, apparently, an open-wheel driver is into the series, so that's actually really cool. And um, I'm going to go ahead and apologize to this guy from the Homestead race. We don't need to keep baggage. Uh, so we're going to take care of that. Got contracts to negotiate. Oh, boy. So your champions uh, from last year, Tony Stewart won the Cup Championship. J.J. Yaley won the uh, the Bush title. Wheeland Modified was won by Jamie Gonzalez, I think. And then Craftsman was won by Ricky Craven. Well, let's see. Do we have a Cup contract? No. Darn it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, holy cow, Roush Racing, yes! Look at these contracts, bro! Oh my gosh! Dude, so our old team from last year wants us to come back, which we won nine races with them, but here's the thing. They pay us 21000 per race, 1% of merchandise, 10% of winnings, or we can go to a team that has much better cars. They pay us about the same amount, we get 6% more merchandise and 4% more winnings. Now, I would love to drive this car, but it is, it, to my knowledge, this is the most bugged car in the whole game is the Chance 2 car. So we're going to have to avoid that. I know, I know. Holy cow. If we sign the Roush contract, we're going to become a Ford developmental driver, which would make sense because we drove a Ford last year. So do we go down the Ford uh, route? Now, to add context to this, because you know I love context, check this out. So, the team we drove for last year, which we turned into a five-star team, was Kinnear Motorsports, which is the best fantasy team in the game. They were a four-star program. They're worth $7.2 million now. Holy moly. Wow. All right, so check this out. So, their cars are 30%, pit crews 30%, team administration 50%. Look at the difference. 20% better pit crew and 10% better car. And then the team and administration is even better. Now, Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth, and Carl Edwards, I think all three of them are part-time drivers in this playthrough. When you sign with them, they become full-time. So that means we could dominate the whole series. Because these guys right here, Bobby Labonte and J.J. Yaley, you're going to need a great team to take them on. Now, they have better cars than us. But we have the same amount of pit crews. Now, just for fun, let's see what the truck's got. Oh, boy. So, Clean Line Motorsports wants us back. Bill Davis Racing, Kevin Harvick Industries, they all want us to drive for them. I am i don't know. Here's the problem. Because Clean Line Motorsports is a, is a Toyota team, right? I think this is a Mopar team or a Dodge team. That's Chevy, obviously. So my point is, I don't think there's an open Ford team that we can go down there and race and be competitive in, if you, if you see what I'm trying to say. Maybe them. I don't know. We could role play at their Ford team. But Roush has their own truck team. So my, my thing is, is this. We're not going to be able to go down there and convince Roush to let us run a Toyota. It's just not going to happen. And just for kicks, I wonder what the wheel and modified circuits got. Um... A whole bunch of interesting contracts here. But yeah. Oh my goodness. So here's the contingency plan. We're going to sign with Roush Racing. Right? We're going to sign with Roush. If the game is bugged out, if it does the double points glitch, we'll go back probably to Kinnear Motorsports. That's probably what we'll have to do. Because we can't do Chance 2. I would love to. Trust me, I want to. I can't tell you how many people have posted on forums and talked about in comment sections that that whole team's bugged. Right? So we can't do that one, unfortunately. That's okay. Um, but Kinnear Motorsports, they've done really good. Roush, though. Holy cow. You're talking about the Taj Mahal of the Cup Series. I mean, check this out. This is this is, this is is the Roush Racing of the 2005 season, but, you know, that's what this game is based off of. Nearly a $20 million Cup team with four full-time drivers in the Cup Series. I mean, they're worth $7.3 I mean, wow. I, I just can't see how you can't sign with Roush. So we are officially going to sign the contract to be a Ford developmental driver. 
Wow. That is crazy. And if you think about it, Mark Martin retired from full-time cup racing in this game. He still runs the Bush car, so um, Mark Martin, unfortunately, is kind of stepping away. But you know what? We are officially a Roush Kateer. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. We're a Roush Kateer. Holy cow, man. <laughs> So we're teammates with Carl Edwards and Kenseth, man. We have a five-star team. Our cars are 10% better than last year. We won nine races. Holy cow, man. We're in a good, good car, dude. And we'll be driving the Pinzel number nine. Ah, I'm hyped. I am hyped. So I want to go back and look at the trucks once again. I don't think any of these are Ford teams because that's a two-star. You ain't going to win squat. This one's a four-star. You could probably win something in that, that truck. However, I don't know if it's a it's a courtesy Coles truck. We could roleplay like it's a Ford team because it's a fantasy, so we don't know what the Biff it is. I might do that. I might run a few truck races in that. Uh, maybe at some tracks that I struggle, but uh, it's not going to be fun not having a five-star truck. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm going to run a truck, I want to run a really good truck. And, um, dang it, man. I don't know. We're not going to run the Daytona truck race. But we might end up running, like, Charlotte, maybe Texas. But we could sign that any given time. Uh, I don't want to sign it early on and then not race anything. And then the contract, they get PO'd at me. So we'll, we'll take care of that down the road. But, yeah. So the goal for this year is to get to level 6 in prestige. We're at level 5. We need 41,000 points to get there. So that's, that's a lot. But... Holy cow, we are a Roush Kateer in 2009, and we're going to Daytona. This is big. So, are y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Wow. That, I, I really thought we would be a Chevy driver in this playthrough, but... Guess what? We're a Roush Kateer. All right, so we're going to qualify. And I I'll show qualifying in this because I'm going to talk about the points here. And you get to check out the new car as well. This is awesome. Number nine. Ah, I love it. So um, we have a rule in this playthrough where if you are a rookie, right, which we're not this year. If you're a rookie, you have to qualify in the top 35 in a bush race to make the show because you have no points to fall back on. Well, we finished top, I think, fifth in the points last year. So clearly we were, we're good. Now, I think in the real life cup series, if you qualify back before they had charters and stuff, if you finish like, I don't know, second in points, you're essentially locked in for like the first five or 10 races of the season and then it starts off based on actual points, right? So if you um, if you start the season off with many DNFs, then you're in risk of lo uh, of not making the show unless you're like a, a cup champion, taking a provisional or something. So what we're going to do, I don't know the true rule of it, but we're going to give ourselves a five-race buffer, right? So essentially, we're locked into the first five races of the year, and if we're outside the top 35 in points after those five races then it's over we we, or we, we have to um we, we have to qualify our way in i believe that's similar to how it is in real life they probably change it almost every year but we're just going to keep it stupid simple um something that everyone can understand and that's just how we go about it so this is our first lap here at daytona just try to get this car up to speed Come on, man. This is so cool. I can't believe we're going to be a freaking Roush Kateer. Oh, I'm so happy. I love it. I love old school Roush racing, man. And it's such a cool paint scheme, too. The number nine. And it was a part-time car last year, so this is going to be a full-time car. Like, the Bush Championship is going to be incredible. And look at that. On pole at Daytona. Wow. We don't need to run two laps. We got the pole. We're good. So, we're on the front row and Edwards is fourth. Where's Matt Kenseth? Dude, we're going to have teammates to work with now. Holy cow. I, I'm just hyped. I am hyped. But yeah, that does mean though for the Cup Series we're going to have to only run with four teams. 
So Roush obviously being the biggest Ford team, they're not going to allow someone to go drive a Dodge or a Toyota. You have to be a full Ford guy. Um, so that limits a lot of our options for the Cup Series. So like if we get a contract for the Cup Series and it's to drive a Chevy, we can't do it. That's just how it is. So we'll have to wait till next year till we get more opportunities. That's just that's just how it goes. So if we get a test session and it's not for a Ford, we can't take the deal. Uh, so anyways, we're going to head out to the Daytona. Hershey's take five, 300. We should have a good chance to win this one, guys. Hopefully. Kevin Harvick's going to kick him off in Daytona. Uh, a big win in the Craftsman Trek Series. Holy cow, man. Dude, this is going to be fun because Kids is capable of winning. Edwards won right. Then both of these guys won races last year. So this is going to be like, who can win the most races? This is so cool. I'm thrilled, man. All right, folks. So we won the last race of the, the last season, which was at Homestead Miami Speedway. We won nine races last year. Now we're in a five-star bush car. We gambled on ourselves, leaving our five-star truck team and now we're at Daytona? What? Okay, so we're going to jump out to a pretty good lead here, but they're going to catch as soon as we get the fourth gear. So get ready to get wide. We have teammates now, so we can work with some teammates. This is the same bush setup we ran at the July Daytona race, I believe. So I don't know how good this will be, but what I do know is that I want Edwards behind me. Edwards, let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, no. Kyle Busch going to go on the inside. I'm, I want to pick up my teammate. Kyle Busch down low. He should be part-time this season. I don't know for sure. Oh, boy. Tied off the corner. Trying to help my teammate. Come on, Edwards. Dang it. He's caught three wide. This is so cool. We have teammates. Look at this. We're in the draft. Ah, we actually have a good car. Dang it. I wish we could get Edwards up here. Come on, Edwards. Let's go, man. Let's go. Come on, Cousin Carl. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right. I got. I can't. I can't help him. I got to stay with this draft. I got to go with Tony Stewart here. I need that. I need that. That push or whoever driving that 133 car. So now that we're a Ford developmental driver, we can only drive Fords throughout the whole uh, tenure at Roush. So if we leave Roush, then we're free agents, right? But right now we are. A part of their program to eventually step into their, their cup program down the road. So that's where the route is looking like uh, we would eventually replace one of their four drivers in the cup series. Which, if I had to guess, would probably be Kurt Busch. Because he hasn't done much this, uh, this playthrough. Alright, come on Edwards. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Oh, tied off the corner. Oh my goodness. Trying to get Edwards just to get behind me. So we can we can hook and book, baby. Let's go. Is that Matt Kenseth down the bottom? Come on, man. I need I need all the cats. No, he's in the back. That's the 83 car. Bush racing at Daytona. Ooh, we're all gonna hit the wall, or close to it at least. Come on, buddy, let's go. Push, push, push. There we go. I love this game, man. It's so cool. Come on, we need to work together to get to the front. Some old school Gen 4 bush racing. All right, so Edwards just can't get a good enough push from behind, probably because he doesn't have anyone behind him. So we need to we need to just try to close this gap, push this 133 car, whatever we have to do. Look, I want to kick off Daytona with a win, man. So if, if Edwards can't get to us, that's okay. We're in contention. We're carrying the banner for not only Roush, but for the Ford camp. It's funny, in real life, I'm a Chevy guy, but <laughs> I love it, man. I love the parody of these NASCAR games. Trying to keep Edwards behind me. We can also tell him when the pit. So if we all wanted to do a, a team pit stop, we could. We are pushing away from Edwards. Looks like Kyle Busch is tandem drafting with J.J. Yaley. We're tandem drafting with the Old Spy Chevy here. Everyone still has to make a pit stop. There's our old teammate. He was a Ford camp. Hey, we can help him out, too. He's a Ford driver. These cats are pitting. Maybe not for the 133 car, but if he's not pitting, I'm going around him. Uh-oh, Brandon Miller. 
Ooh, we almost got really tight there. Brandon Miller looks like he's going to slightly hold him up just a, just a tad. Obviously, you want to pit with somebody. I'm taking four tires here. I'm not taking any uh, unnecessary risks. Oh, Edwards, we accidentally slowed him up. I'm sorry, bud. Dang it. I should have told him to uh, pit with me. It's okay. Not touching the setup, guys. How y'all doing out there? Finally, we're competitive at plate races. Yes. So you have to have a five-star car to be good at the plate races. Like, it's not even close. Look how beautiful this car is, though. In real life, it's silver. So I could imagine, like, the sun shining on this thing, how beautiful it would be. Such a beautiful car, man. I'd love a die cast of it. But not on the goofy Team Caliber mold. I'd want this on a Hot Wheels uh, 2005 mold for sure. How y'all doing out there? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So cool, man. Driving Mark Martin's old car. And look at that. They're just going to hook and book away. You got Kenny Wallace behind us. Dang it. All right, so the Roush Coutures are going to pit now. We're so far away. I just don't think we can catch them, guys. I mean, Kyle Busch has been doing a great job with J.J. Yaley. I mean, they have been tandem drafting. And if they hook up real quick here, we're screwed. Looks like they're pulling away now. So the only hope we're going to have is if we can kind of catch a couple cars coming off pit road and, and find someone to push with. Because these guys are fast. So we do have Brandon Miller. Hey, hey tell you what. Go around me, Miller. Go around. Go around. Go, 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 go. I will push you. Thank you, buddy. All right. Let's work together. Come on, buddy. Let's work together. Let's help each other out. Let's try to get to the front. There's Kenseth. If one of these cars can come up in front of them and slow them up, this would be super interesting how this race is going to finish out. I think you're faster if you don't share draft. These guys, if they pull in line, we're screwed. Please don't slow up. Please don't slow up. Thank you, Jesus. Two to go at the line here at Daytona. I mean, you could bump draft in this game. Like, if, if you're 1-2 at Talladega and you have a consistent bump draft, you can actually pull away from the field. I, I kid you not. It, it's actually possible. These cars, they can tandem draft like COTs. I will say that the bump drafting in this game is actually really good. Uh, because the way it works is, like, your car actually comes up to them and it bumps them. It's not like in some NASCAR games when you push them, it actually slows you and them down. You do have to lift in the corners because your car is going to get a lot more speed and it's going to push aerodynamically. Now, obviously, we're not going to be able to catch him without some sort of incident, but it's okay, though. We're top five. We're gaining a little bit on that red car. It's hard to stay tucked up on that outside. Oh, no, 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 no contact. Oh, boy, there they go. Dang it, man. Not the way you want your, your Bush start of the season to go. I am so sorry, Brandon Miller. I am so sorry. He's going to hit me here. I am so sorry about that. Tandem drafting gone wrong. That was not good at all. So J.J. Yaley looking to cap off the season opener with a huge win. Our tires are shot. Trying to block to the inside. I don't know if we can. Car's loose. Car's tight. Oh, no. Edwards gets hit. Dang it. Sixth place. I'll take it. Dang it. We, we were pushing at the end trying to push Miller for the for the win, and or at least the top four. And You know what? You can't, make, you can't win them all, but he's going to get a fourth place finish nonetheless. We got Edwards in the top ten as well. That was a hard hit right there, yo. Like, that was a hard hit. But I tell you what, it's fun racing plate cars, man. It's fun. If we would have if we would have had more cars on pit road when we pitted, we would have been fine. But we just didn't have no one to work with. And uh, Kyle Busch and J.J. Yaley kept tandem, draft, tandem drafting. And inevitably, 
Uh, they won the race. Look at that. Bam! Big hit. And your full race results here. We didn't lead a lap, unfortunately, but hey, we're, you know... Compared to last year, we finished, like, 40th. This is a million times better. And I think this guy right here, Jay Reed, is the, the car we drove last year. I think Reed is, um... Who drives the, uh... The one... Whatever, the milk car we drove last year, so... Huh. 100,000 fans. Holy cow. That's that's a lot of people. That's, that's supposed to be Carl Edwards, by the way. <laughs> I didn't know Carl Edwards had a goatee, but he's looking sharp. Got like an LSU Tigers uniform. That's pretty cool. Wow. So, Daytona openers in the books. We're a Rauschketeer. Now, again, I, I, I'm going to make sure that we don't have a double points glitch. So, I, I try to watch each episode... You should average about 100 to 130 points, give and take, usually each episode. So if I show up and it says I have 400 points after two races and everyone else has 300 and I finish pretty poorly, that tells me the double points glitch is in effect. I have a save file that's separate. I'll go back and I'll change teams and we'll run whatever. But um, yeah, that's all for today's episode. We are 38,000 points away from the prestige level 6, but... It does make the series a lot more difficult because I don't know um, if the first Nextel Cup Series contract is a forward team or not. And if it's not, then we can't we can't run it. So we would have to wait till the entire year, end of the year, to be able to sign. Um, so five star Bush team, man. We are literally driving the best equipment out there, and they they're already paying us a buttload more, six percent more on merchandise, four percent more on winnings. And oh, by the way, you start out with $4,000 more per race. And then it parlays that your car is going to be so competitive that statistically you should be able to get a lot more. But I think what we'll do down the road is we will sign with DNF Enterprises to drive that truck once or twice this year. I would love to run some of the races, maybe some of them that we struggle at, right? Like I would love to run Old Spice. I'm really good there, fortunately, thank God. But I love running Old Spice. Um, we might run the Bristol uh, night race there if we're able to. I don't know, but it's uh, it's interesting. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for all your diecast shop needs. Feel free to use that promo code Diecast Buffet uh, at checkout at Circle B Diecast, and you can save on shipping orders thirty dollars or more. California is next. Um, how will we do with a five star car? Well, <laughs> only one way to figure out. See you next episode, guys. Diecast Buffet signing off.